Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll show you how to fix error code van 152 in Valorant. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So one of the first things that we should be doing here is checking our services. So at the bottom left of your screen, go to your search here and you want to type in the following, which is services. Go ahead and open it up. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for VGC. So just scroll down a bit until you see the V section here. And from here, what we need to do is right click on it and you want to go to properties. Now under properties, we want to change the startup type to automatic. So make sure that it is set to automatic. And from here, just click on apply and OK. Now, in this case, this should actually solve the issue. But if not, we have another solution that we could do. Now, in here, the second solution, we first have to go to our command prompt. So go to your search at the bottom left. Just type in CMD and you should see command prompt open up. So in this case, you want to right click on it and just click on run as administrator and just hit on yes. Now from here, what we need to do is to you need to enter the following command, which is going to be SC delete VGK and just hit on enter. Now the next command is going to be SE or SC delete VGC. Now in here, let's go ahead and just press on enter and we are going to proceed with the next step. Now for the next step, we need to go ahead and go to your search again and type in the following, which is going to be control panel. Go ahead and open it up. And we want to go ahead and go to programs here, but click on uninstall a program. And from here, we want to look for Riot or sorry, of the Valorant or the Vanguard application here. So go ahead and look for Vanguard. And in here we have right Vanguard. You could use a search at the top right. And in here once you want to right click on it and basically uninstall it from your PC. Now once you've done that, you could go ahead and open up a Riot client here, and uh, your Valorant game would actually have it uh, automatically update itself because Vanguard is missing from the system itself. So it's going to update itself, and from there just wait for it to install, and that should solve your issue. Now from here, just make sure that you start your PC just to make sure that everything is updated, but you're all good. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.